Picasso was interested in paper all his life, all different kinds of paper. Drawing is absolutely fundamental to his art. He once claimed that he could draw before he could speak. We're standing in the Royal Academy of Arts and the name of the exhibition is Picasso and Paper. It's got about 320 works in it and it covers the whole of Picasso's career from works he did as a child when he was only nine and work he did when he was about 92, right at the end of his life. So it covers every period of his very long and rich career. He used paper in such a multitude of different ways and so creatively and inventively. He even made little sculptures out of paper. He was a wonderful printmaker, which he started quite early in his life and really it dominated the last decade of his life. He also invented new ways of combining printmaking techniques with photographic techniques. He once said to a friend, oh, the paper seduced me. He was fascinated by all different kinds of paper, expensive antique papers dating back from the time of the French Revolution. But the next minute he's drawing on a piece of wrapping paper, or a bit of blotting paper even, or just very ordinary cheap papers. Newspaper was a medium he used a lot. He's a kind of visual anarchist, you know, he, he doesn't set boundaries between what's high art and what is low art. I think the most important work in the show is this really huge collage called Les Femmes à la Toilette, which is made all of the fragments of patterned wallpaper of the period, which he had saved and collected. It's a fascinating work and it's very rarely exhibited. One of the most fascinating and most individual things about Picasso as an artist is he had this extraordinary capacity to keep reinventing himself. I mean, every decade, you know, he's working in a completely different style. He's always inventing, always looking at new ways of perceiving the world, new ways of representing the world, and paper runs throughout all of this.